What's up, guys? Let's do a little breakdown of Cyril Grayson, the guy with the big touchdown in the Jets game, final final seconds of the game. But he deserves this because of the past couple of weeks, he's just been showing up and showing out. And he's going to get a whole lot more playing time with said wide receiver just walking off the field. But let's break it down. So this first touchdown or first play you're going to see is that big touchdown I was talking about, corner of the end zone. Great throw by Brady, but still, just the consistent effort of Grayson working with his quarterback. Great catch, even though the, the cornerback's right there, the safety's right there. Touchdown. But plus, break it down. How did this happen? Right, yeah. This is uh, pretty much Brady, but Grayson's just going to do a good job of just running, continuing to run his route, get behind the uh, first corner here. Does a good job of just, yeah, just continuing to run, uh, be in, that, in his spot, and then make a great catch, like you said, and good job of keeping his balance and getting into the end zone as well. And a lot of times, this bang bang, like just a, a cornerback or a safety getting in the way, sometimes gets in the in the mind of the receiver, and sometimes they bobble it. But my man, sure handed, gets up, celebrates. You gotta love it. Again, different angle, Brady, laser throw right there, boom. Like you said, keeping your balance, keep making sure you're getting in the end zone. Now you'll see Grayson down here, bottom of your screen. I mean, they're gonna be start developing a, a good chemistry here. I mean, check this little comeback route. I know the timing's a little bit off, but with reps is going to get pretty dang good guys. So check it out. Just using his speed to get upfield. I love this little shimmy at the top of the route, acting like he's going to push this deep. Cornerback can't see him. So he has to stay looking at the quarterback. He just puts on the brakes and he's right open. I like it. What do you see? Right. And I think consistency is the big part with the, uh, you know, uh, timing of everything and getting that, uh, just connection down pat, but this is a great route by grace. And he really sells this, you know, selling it like he's going to go, you know, farther down the field, does a great job of just that quick churn with his feet. Uh, really good footwork here. And it's just so, you know, could be a little bit more subtle, but he does a great job of just coming back to the football here and making the catch, getting that first down. That was third and 20. Um, and then here, you know, just being subtle, being aware of your spacing. This is a good route, really just running behind Mike Evans here, does a little nice curl route and giving a nice target for Tom to throw to. Uh, just, which is nice. And it's a quick target. That's the thing. He's reading what's in front of you. Is there, are we in man? Are we in zone? A lot of this is him deciding what, what is the play? What, what's going on? Is the defense going to cover me and stick with me? Or are they going to go back and with Mike Evans? This is just presenting as an option for Tom Brady. Tom's usually quick to the, to the delivery and executes right there. And a lot of this is just Cyril Grayson becoming a wide receiver, learning the defenses, learning routes, learning how to execute these routes. And he's, he's been doing it securely. I mean, check this out again. Same concept. What are they running? Are they in zone? Oh, let me just turn around, present as a target. And there he is right there in the middle of your screen. Tom Brady, too easy to deliver. What do you like? Right, I, I like it. I like the awareness like you're, like you're talking about. And people forget this guy didn't play college football, so he's still learning as a receiver. And the nuances are starting to come together for him. Here, you know, just running a nice little under as kind of like a, a delay under as these guys go up the field he runs behind them tom recognizes hits him on the coming across great catch in traffic as he gets hit and again fighting for extra yards as well and more on what you just said he's 28 years old so some people may just be hearing his name now this guy went from a track star track athlete usually these guys don't really make it he's actually learned the position he's putting in the work ba left which everyone on the buccaneers says this guy's the hardest worker and he's made the most improvements out of everyone on the team this year and they just, that's something to be said. Check them out here again, top of your screen. More of this comeback action. I mean, when you're scared of a guy's speed, you're going to give him that space. And, I mean, you don't see him hustling that hard. It's He's kind of gassed here. This is that last drive. But break it down a little bit more. Yeah, he, he was talking about how he had dead legs on this on this last drive. And you can kind of see it there, you know, not the sharpest of route. And that's something that he's going to have to continue to work on and make sure his route running becomes, you know, consistent as possible. But he does a good job of just getting open. Really, the Jets are just going to give give up this route, and he does a good job of just coming back and making the catch. What is huge to me, though, is the trust and confidence Brady has. Look where Brady's eyes are immediately. First first off, he's looking over here, center of the field. Look what he does immediately. Run the play, immediately shifts over, trust that he's going to be open, deliver this ball. No hesitation. I mean, once you build the trust with Brady, he's going to give you the ball more often. Let's just be honest about that. And now here he is. Gowan's out. Obviously, that ACL, we hate to hear it. But where's Grayson? Right here. He's going to try and fill that role. No one can do that, let's be honest. But I like this little chip in here, getting in 
aggressive in the running game. What do you like with that one? Yeah, he he's you know he's willing blocker. You know he's he's willing to get in there and, and do the dirty stuff. So that was a great job of him just hitting and making a you know a nice impact block there. Yeah, we keep going on this one. This is what I was talking about. The more he kind of stays with Brady, the timing wise and understanding the subtle little differences, what's going to get him open, what's not, or what's going to contribute to a catch or not. He's got to come back closer to the ball. I know he's getting to the first down marker and stopping, but help your quarterback out, get closer to the ball, secure your catch before the guy hits you and you drop the ball. I mean, you can even make more space moving forward and then turning up the field. So it's fine utilizing your space that you do have. But again, he's learning. I think this is good. Nothing but good stuff. What do you see? I agree. It's uh, I think it's a positive and, yeah, you like to see him come back to the football here. But like you said, it, I think he's just going to continue to get better with more reps and experience, especially time with Tom Brady. Uh, so, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video of uh, Cyril Grace. And I thought he came up clutch. He's really been clutch the last couple of weeks. And, you know, the Bucks are going to definitely need him come playoff time. Uh, so with that being said, uh, what do you guys think of Cyril Grayson? Do you think he can become, you know, a, a big uh, have a bigger role in this offense going forward? And with that said, Go Bucks.